Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be a little different than normal. We actually have some sort of, I guess, challenge is what you'd call it. Um, so I have here in my hand right here is a whole bunch of used um, baits, mostly Guggen baits, because that's usually the only thing I ever use anyways. But it's a whole bunch of used baits and I've just doused them in, I, I don't know the exact way to say, it. I guess anise oil anise i don't know anyways anise oil and um another like bass attractant like gel stuff i don't even remember what it was called i actually poured the entire bottle of it in this and threw it away before i even thought about it so we've got a ton of baits in here that have been marinating for literally over a week now so we this should be some pretty good scent on here and the challenge is going to be this the challenge is going to be do my homemade like attracting i should say on on the guggenbaits do better than a fresh uh brand new pack of guggenbaits basically right out of the pack you know what's going to catch more fish now we've already seen based off of my previous videos what guggenbaits do here at bass factory now we're going to see what this does and if there's enough time at the end of the day i'll use a little bit of fresh uh guggenbaits and see what that does compared to this but with that being said guys let's go ahead and get into the video and see what happens all right, let's do it. Let's go ahead and, huh. Let's start off with our old tried and true bandito bug. Let's see if we can get one that's, this looks almost brand new. All right, let's do that one. These are all used by the way. None of these, none of these are fresh out of a pack. These have all been in the water at least for a little bit. So we'll see what happens. Also, I think I got too big of a hook on, yeah, I do. I don't really feel like retying, so we're going to go with, I think this is a 5 odd <laughs> on a Bandito. I don't recommend it, but it is what it is for today. I don't feel like retying. If I end up having to retie in a little bit, I will, but other than that, I am not going to retie. If it, if it just, if it doesn't work, if I'm not, if I'm missing hook sets because the hook's just too big, then obviously I'll retie, but... All right, we're gonna have to kind of make a spot to cast here, I think. We're gonna walk over this way, I think. Someone came through here with a side-by-side -side or something and packed down some of these, but not all. So I'm making a spot for myself right now. Probably scaring away fish in the process, but you know. Let's see. This is very shallow in this spot. I do know that, but I also know that there's fish here too. Let's just top water it. Oh, I missed him. That sucks. Missed the hook set. Second cast. There's one there. That's clear as day. Ooh, okay, that was a little fish. That little fish was really aggressive. Why are the little ones always the most aggressive ones, man? You hit way harder than the big ones do. All right, one little guy here. I mean, it is what it is, it's a fish, right? I'd rather pull that in than not pull a fish in at all. I mean, I don't know about you all, but that's the way I look at it. That wasn't the one that hit the first time, I don't think though. Let's see if we can get another one right here. Ah, there's another one there. That was not the same, oh my gosh. He destroyed it. He straight destroyed it. I don't even think, this isn't even worth using. I've got zero big claws on, the, on it. It's like ripped halfway apart. And I've got three little ones, one, three little limbs. The other one's gone. I'm gonna just test something here. I'm going to cast this out anyways. And oh wow, that just split all the way around. Okay. I'm gonna cast this out anyways. And just expose the hook best I can. And 
just top water it and see if the fish bite it. I'm just gonna see if fish bite this. I just wanna see how easy it is to catch fish here. Testing time. Dude, the fish hit it. The fish hit it. It has no action. <laughs> There's nothing on it. There's one. Is that the same fish? There's no way. There's no way. It's the same exact size, I will say that much. Well, there's fish number two. It looks almost identical to the first one, honestly. It could possibly be the same exact fish for all I know. Like I said, I don't know, but it definitely looks, definitely looks like it. Little guys. I guess I don't have too small of a hook. Uh, we are 100% switching soft plastics though. This is, look at this thing. This is, it's shredded at the top. It's about ripped apart there on the head. It's missing both of its biggest front, like claw, like limbs. It's missing one of the small limbs. It's like literally nothing there. And I caught a fish with it. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. These fish are crazy. Ooh, that one's a little bit bigger. Come here. We're surfing you. Yes, sir. That one is bigger, indeed. Whew. All right, nice. I casted more into the duckweed and he struck it literally immediately. This isn't a big bass, but it is the biggest one of the day so far. It's number four. Nice. I'll take it all day, man. That is awesome. Got another good bass. Nice. Ooh. Oh no, that was so big. That one was so big. No. That was a big bass. That was a big boy. We missed the big one. All right, we got Blue Baby on this time. Yak packs go to, so. Let's see if what Yak Pack swears by is what's going on today. This one's kind of hard to get to. Yeah, this is a rough spot to get to, man. Note to self, don't come this way again. Oh my goodness. Let's just hope we can get a fish here.
There we go. There we go. There we go. Blue baby. Blue baby. Blue baby did the trick, man. Blue baby was the sauce this time around. I do apologize, good sir. Eh, okay, bass. All right, let's put you back in the water. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but as I was reeling in, right around, right in front of me here, the water line, um, past all this crap here, there's a fish that jumped at this one. So, I don't know what it was, but it was a fish there. So, we're going to put yet another bandito on and see what happens. Yeah, dude, that hook came right at my finger. Ow, that hurt. Well, uh, a fish bit right there. That freaking hurt, dude. Anyone else ever done that before? Wow, that hurt. There's one. Little guy, still fish. Fish is the fish, man. Let's see. Let's, let's throw him back. My finger hurts. All right, his mouth probably hurts though, so you know. Ooh, dad, gone, man! I saw that come. I think I'm up for it. Whoo, baby, that scared me, man. I saw that fish swim from the right, from right to left to come hit that. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the camera not when I play it back, but we're going to do straight top water. Got him that time. I have no idea how big this fish is, but I am muscling it in. <laughs> Ooh, best one of the day. Whew. There we go. I'll take that. I'll take that. Look at that fish. That's a good one. That's the one that hit the first time and destroyed the bandito bug. And then he came back again for vengeance. There we go. There we go. Nice fish. All right, we got a picture. Let's put it back now. It's a good bass two pounder or so, two, two and a half. All right, we're gonna do one more spot and then I'm gonna call it a night. Um, we've got a lot of footage and yeah, I think we got plenty of fish, nothing crazy. I got one good one really. One solid, solid bass, the rest, meh. Still, I'd rather catch them than nothing. So there is that at least, at the very least, you know. But let's get one more spot in here. We'll find one last spot and call it a night. All right, get that.
All right, guys, that's gonna about wrap it up for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, so the homemade little scent that I had going on there um, actually worked out pretty well. We got eight fish, nothing big or anything like that, but um, fish nonetheless, eight fish in a couple hours, not bad. Uh, but with that being said though, uh, I still think that I prefer a fresh pack of Guggen baits just because I could not keep the lures on the hook for one. Like I think, I know that they were used and I know that that does affect it, but like, I don't know. They seem like they tore way too easy and that's just an issue because I couldn't keep my uh, plastic on the hook long enough to catch a fish half the time. So I think I could have caught a lot more actually had I been able to keep them, keep the, uh, the plastic on the hook. But with that being said though, guys, I am going to be doing different things like this in the future. I do really do want to do a top water one. So that may be here pretty soon. Um, I kind of have to do top water in this place anyways. But uh, yeah, if you see behind me here, um, actually you can't really tell from behind me, but it's basically nothing but uh, just foliage in the water. It's only like a foot, foot and a half, maybe two feet deep. So, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, that's what's behind me. And it's just, it's just not gonna work out. So I have to use top water here in this, 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 blah, this specific pond, if I could talk, I have to use top water now. You can't use anything else or just get caught up. But um, we're gonna try top waters at some point. And we may try other things in the future. I don't know yet. We may try different brands of things and see. Uh, we know, you know, you all know that I do Guggen stuff. So it's primarily going to be Guggen stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace out.